Much better news here. DeMar Hamlin is now recovering at home. The Buffalo Bills safety had been hospitalized first in Cincinnati, then in Buffalo for more than a week after he went into cardiac arrest on the field during last week's Monday night football game against the Bengals. After a series of tests and evaluations, Hamlin was discharged today. As for when he might be back on a field, Buffalo's head coach says it's up to Hamlin. His health comes first and foremost. Hamlin's collapse and then that remarkable recovery have captivated the country. It really has, and it also brought back some memories, both good and bad, for a local high school baseball player who nearly died on the baseball diamond. My hand was near his heart, and I could feel how stiff his chest was, and so I put my hand over his heart, and I could not feel a heartbeat. Only on News 5, Bob Jones speaks with that grateful teen and the coach who helped save his life. Oh, you made it. In sports, there is skill and some luck. Kyle Lucky showed off some of his basketball skills, but baseball is his sport, and he is indeed lucky to have Coach Scott Koenig in his life. It still leaves me in shock that I, like, I still haven't really processed everything that's gone down. It does, still doesn't seem real. Kyle pitches for Cloverleaf High School and doesn't bat often, but he did in October while playing fall ball for the Akron A's. And when he dove into third base for a triple, Kyle was safe, but his life was not. I got up on my hands and knees like in all fours and then I just collapsed. And it just registered with me, he's having a cardiac situation here. And I immediately went into compressions. Scott, who was coaching third base, says it felt surreal, but he continued CPR. He went totally limp. He was not trying to breathe anymore. There was no movement. Kyle stopped breathing for two to three minutes. Um, honestly, I thought we lost him. And then a parent who happened to be using the bathroom in the nearby football stadium grabbed an AED and used it on Kyle. At that point, Scott called Kyle's mother, who was on her way home from a camping trip. I'm driving um, up Route 21 and says, Kyle, quit breathing. Kyle, quit breathing. And I'm going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But moments later, that spectator with the AED delivered a shock that brought Kyle back. I'm forever grateful that those people helped me and were able to have me here still as today and to do this. As Kyle recovered, doctors at Akron Children's Hospital diagnosed him with a rare condition called commotio cordis, in which an abrupt blow to the chest can lead to cardiac arrest. It's really a diagnosis of exclusion when there's nothing else to explain what happened. While doctors haven't revealed what caused Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin to go into cardiac arrest, Kyle sees similarities to what happened to him. With me, there's no video of anything happening, but seeing that, I'm like... Wow. And in both frightening situations, Dr. John Clark says immediate CPR was critical. I applaud Scott Koenig. I thank him for doing what he did, and I hold him up to the entire community. Kyle is set to graduate from Cloverleaf High School in May and plans to play baseball in college. Given a second chance at life, he's not taking it for granted. And Kyle's parents will be forever grateful to everyone. Amazing who saved Kyle. As a parent, you're really grateful that he saved your son's life, because he did. But you don't realize how much work it was in such a small window of time. Kyle Lucky gets another shot at life and feels grateful people had the skills to save him. I already have a good relationship with the parents, and now it's, it's cemented. We're bonded forever, I think. In Lodi, Bob Jones, News 5. You could just see the gratitude in Kyle's sure. parents' eyes, like his mom's eyes. She is so grateful her son is still here. Wow. Thanks to the acts of the bystander. The yeah, bystanders. I, some people would say they're, they're lucky that Scott was coaching third base and that parent happened to know where the AED was. But, you know, some people make their own like, luck. It's all about being prepared. And, mm -hmm. and they're lucky that they were there. So, so cool. And Kyle, who, by the way, has a nice left-hand move there. Wow. <laughs> it's been cleared to play baseball for Cloverleaf this spring. Doctors are going to be watching him closely. That's so awesome. Now, take a look at this. It's called a heart loop, and it looks like this. It was implanted by Dr. Clark. Kyle can hit a clicker if he's having any unusual symptoms, and for the next four years, the loop will record his heart rhythm, among other things. Just amazing. Wow.